Advanced English Lesson 4 Topic Yard Sale This is a lesson in three parts. Part 1 Listening Practice September is here and that means summer is over. I'm not too sad to say goodbye to summer because at least I have some good memories. I've already talked about my trip to Pennsylvania, so in this lesson I'd like to share another experience I had. I participated in a yard sale this past summer. The first thing we're going to do in this lesson is make sure you understand what a yard sale is, at least from the American perspective. And then I'll get to show you what the yard sale was like. Listen, you will hear me talk then you'll be asked to identify sentences as true or false based on your understanding of what you heard and of course what you remember. There'll be a total of four listening passages. Are you ready? Passage 1 Every summer across the United States Americans organize yard sales. Single households or several households decide on a date and time to sell all their unwanted things right in front of their homes. You don't need a special permit from any local authority to set up a yard sale. And only if you live in a condo association do you need to give notification to your neighbors. What matters most is good advertising. Several signs on local streets and perhaps an announcement on a local online website are good things to have. Question 1. Yard sales are always organized by groups of families within one neighborhood. True or false? This statement is false. I said that single households or several households can have a yard sale. Question 2. An American resident needs special permission to advertise and set up a sale in his or her yard. True or false? This statement is false. I said that you don't need any kind of permit from a local authority to have a yard sale. And you only need to tell your neighbors that you're having a yard sale if you're in a group of condominiums, a condo association. Passage 2 Saturday mornings are the most common time for yard sales. They can start as early as 8 o'clock and last well into the afternoon. But by noon, most of the choice items have been sold. Rarely do you see a yard sale take place on a work day or last towards dinner time. Question 3. Yard sales are popular events on weekdays. True or false? This statement is false. I said that Saturdays are the most popular days for yard sales, and it's very rare to see a yard sale on a work day. Question 4. The best items are usually found in the morning. True or false? This statement is true. I mentioned choice items. A choice item is something with quality, and I said that choice items are usually gone by noon. Passage 3. Yard sales are common in the suburbs where there is enough space to set up tables along sidewalks and in driveways, and where there are people looking for bargains. You can find almost anything at a yard sale an old guitar, a pair of shoes, books of all kinds, toys, and furniture. As for why there are so many yard sales on a typical summer weekend in America, I can explain by admitting a fault that too many people in my country have. Americans tend to have a lot of junk and a lot of clutter. Seldom will you find a family with an empty basement or attic. And our closets? 
oh, they're full too. <laughs> we hold on to things for too long and we collect things that we don't really need. Only when we realize that we have too many things and too little space left in our homes do we decide to take action. We experience extreme pleasure when we declutter, that is, gain space by removing stuff and organizing what's left. I should note that there are alternatives to having a yard sale. Sometimes when we empty out our closets, we donate clothing to charity and give books to the local library. But when we find such a wide variety of junk in our closets, under our beds, up in the attic, and down in the basement, we consider the option of selling our stuff to make a profit. Then we experience the satisfaction of decluttering and earning some money. Question 5. Yard sales are popular in American suburbs. True or false? This statement is true. I said that in the suburbs there's enough space to have these yard sales, for example in a driveway or on a sidewalk, and suburban homes are large enough to accumulate all the junk in the first place. Question 6. Many Americans view having clutter as a source of pride. True or false? This statement is false according to what you heard earlier. I said that the source of pride comes from decluttering and earning some money. Question 7. Yard sales are the only practical option for Americans with many unwanted items. The only alternative is throwing things out in the trash. True or false? This statement is false. I mentioned two other alternatives, donating clothes to charity and giving books to a library. Passage 4. You may wonder who wants to buy used items. Often buyers are people who must watch their budget. They buy items secondhand because it's too expensive to buy everything new. There are also shoppers who specialize in antiques. They search for old objects that are being sold for pennies but are actually worth a considerable amount of money. Buyers come from the surrounding area and sometimes beyond. Many buyers drive to yard sales. Some decide to stop as soon as they see signs for a yard sale, even if they are not in a familiar town. In fact, many look for yard sales on the weekends, and for these people, stopping at yard sales is a pastime. They like to search for something special and enjoy negotiating a good price. These bargain hunters may visit a few different yard sales in one day. This summer, I helped organize a neighborhood yard sale. I set up my own table and sold things along with several other neighbors. In a little bit, I'll show you what my experience was like. Question 8. Yard sales are only for poor people who can't afford to buy newer, more expensive things in stores. True or false? This statement is false. It's not just poor people who come to yard sales. I mentioned people who like antiques. They come to yard sales searching for old things that still have value. Question 9. For some people, going to yard sales is like a hobby. True or false? This statement is true. For some people, yard sales are a pastime. They may visit a few in one day. Question 10. I not only participated in a yard sale, I helped organize it. True or false? This statement is true. In fact, it was my idea to have it in the first place. This is the end of part one. Before you go on to part two, please know that additional practice is available at EnglishCafe.com. My username there is Jennifer ESL. 
follow the direct link listed in the video description. You'll find another shorter listening quiz related to our topic and you'll also find the transcript for each of the listening passages you just heard. When you're done, I'll see you back here for part two.